back again at Whisper Hearing Centers, and Megan Schnellenberger is with us again, and she's the audiologist here, and talking about, last time we were talking about testing, and just heading into that area, what can someone expect after they've made that phone call? What do they expect for, for the hearing test? I think most people don't know what to expect. Sure. The hearing test is, you know, once you come to the appointment, we'll, again, kind of go over your case history a little bit, talk about you, where you notice you struggle. Mm -hmm. And if you have family members that want to join you, um, we can talk okay. about where the family members, sometimes family members have an, an outside perspective mm -hmm. of, you know, he thinks he hears fine in this conversation, but I know when we're out to dinner, he's not answering the right Right. the right answer to the question right. or misinterpreting what someone is saying. Right. I remember friends yeah. of mine would tell me that you turn the TV up too loud mm -hmm. or I, I couldn't answer on the phone. Right. I changed ears for my phone calls. So there were indicators that I ignored, but other people notice right. them. When you have hearing loss that's untreated, your brain is working twice as hard to fill in the gaps of what is missing. And again, a lot of times patients will brush it off as, oh, it's been, I've been busy at work or it's just I haven't slept well. But auditory fatigue, which is what happens when your brain is tired from filling in the gaps of what is missing from each ear, is a real physical manifestation right. of your untreated hearing loss. And I, I'm shake, I always shake my head a lot with you because uh -huh. like, I could so relate. You're just exhausted by the end of the sure. day, trying to hear everything. Mm -hmm. uh, right, you are again. Okay, the hearing test is not painful. No. Okay. Nothing uh, about what we do is painful. It's fun. It's easy. We'll have a party. It'll, it'll be good. <laughs> oh, okay, party. Let's stretch it a little bit. But it, 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 and you can do all ages too, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. We can do all ages. Um, for a, an adult patient, we'll say that comes in, you know, we'll again chat about your history and then we'll put some headphones on your ears and play some beeps for you and we'll try to find what's the softest level that you're able to hear beeps across a range of frequencies. And then there's a component of the hearing that is how your brain puts all of those individual frequencies right. together in the form of speech. And so we say speech mm -hmm. and re have you repeat it back. The whole, the combined test battery gives us a, an idea of right. your hearing loss, the type of hearing loss, and what we can expect um, as far as realistic expectations with hearing aids. And the next step. And the next step. Right. So right. after that, we will go over everything with you, explain the hearing test, and explain how your hearing or hearing loss um, might affect your communication yeah, from day right. to day. Yeah, right. um, and right. then if you're interested in hearing aids, we'll go down that road. Um, we are here for you, so, you know. Uh, and you're not going to be here for us, though, we're going to be taking a little break. Just a quick break. A quick I, break. I will be back. A quick break. Because as you can see, hey, I have a baby. Have a baby. <laughs> uh, and tell us about the baby. It's a girl. It's a girl. Um, this is our third baby. Um, I have a son, Jack, who is four and a half. A daughter, Ava, is two and a half. And then this, we are naming her Sloan. Um, and she is due as long as she stays cooking, as long as. <laughs> She should. Um, late March. Oh, so I will take a quick break to have the baby and take care of the baby. <laughs> and then Evan. we'll be right back, uh, right back at it a couple months later. Very good. Well, we hear you. Good. Now you better stick to that. We <laughs> I need will. You. I we will. We need you here. We well, have a lovely family. They, well, thank they're, you. They're really beautiful. Thank you. So congratulations. Thank you very much. All right. And after that pregnant pause, we'll be back with more on Great Day TV. <laughs>